Hello friends, this is Shubham and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will be learning how to read PDF files and extract information using regexes. So let's start. So firstly, we'll go to our Chrome. Okay. Okay. And we'll be coding here. And I would like to uh, show you a library called PyPDF2. So using this, we'll, we are going to uh, like extract the information from the PDF, right? So I have a sample PDF here. Uh, as you can see, it's an in invoice. So yeah, these are the information that we want to extract. So I think we should start, okay? Uh, firstly, we have to load this. Um, okay, this is the Gold Gold Collab, okay? Uh, Invoice. So yeah, I want to load. Then most probably we will be, you know, installing this pip three install pi PDF four. Okay. So yeah, it's installing. Let it install. Okay. So it is successfully installed. Now what we'll do is. Uh, we will be reading the invoice that is in the form of PDF. So now we will be importing pi PDF 4. Okay. Let's give a file path to my invoice. So it's equal to, let's see a string. Okay. And this is the name of the string. So invoice.pdf. Okay. So next, what we'll do is we'll open the file and then we will read it. So with open. Okay, file path, comma, mode is equal to RB for reading. Okay, as a file, F, reader equal to. We'll call the pi pdf dot. So here we are making an object of that reader, and I will give f as its parameter. Okay. So next, what we will do is to get the pages. Okay. So here we can uh, make a list, and if we have multiple pages, we can pass it in the form of like uh, if you have five pages then you can go in till uh, range of five and then you can put the parameter as i will show you next so it will be a reader dot get page okay and here you i am doing only since we have only one page so i am giving a zero so you can start from zero to four for five pages so in the form of that and you can store the value as you need so uh, using data structures so let's see what we have read okay print page dot extract text okay so this is a function okay so yeah let's see <coughs> okay so pi pdf okay i forgot to do a pi pdf 4 here and most probably we'll be seeing this is as a result okay so as we can see that um uh let's match so it is reading the invoice correctly or not okay so we can see all the details here it's like invoice date is here okay okay so like invoice date then invoice here is the invoice date okay january and all the invoice number inv3337 so uh, we have to find it in this okay um right see subtotal and all everything is here subtotal and this is a total value okay so let's see um so this is what you have uh, you know read from the pdf so next what we'll do is we will be using rejects uh, to extract the information so for that uh, I'll be do what we are doing is instead of printing it I'll be storing in a variable okay so this will be text is equal to the spot okay yeah now what we'll do is we will import rejects import re m is equal to sorry minus equal to re dot find all okay and we'll just give a pattern like 
I want to find the invoice number. So invoice INV and it is in the form of 0 to 9 and any number of times it can be present. Right? So yeah, in from we have to give the text here. So print M. So I think this should work and we'll get the invoice number here. So if you are not like, uh, you don't have knowledge about rejects, then you can um, always go to, it is free, right? The resources are free, you can, uh, in the internet, you can go through them. Uh, like this, we can uh, use rejects to find the, you know, to extract inf information. So let's uh, say I want to extract all the, you know, numeric amounts, I want to extract all the amounts like dollar eighty five dollars this ninety three dollars right so we want to extract those so let's see and I'll be copying this part and for this pattern I'll be changing it okay so here we want a dollar okay so uh, most probably we'll be doing a dollar sign okay so there will be a dollar so dollar zero to nine okay and then what we will be doing is um, any number of times so uh, it can be 93 it can be nine dollar one to any number of occurrences then we want a dot okay so and then after that we want again so 93.00 so uh, it can be any number of times the numeric values right so star here so it can be present it cannot be present so zero or more occurrences the star represents okay so let's see yeah, it did not read and you know why because dollar symbol is creating a problem here so yeah so if you do uh, it, uh, in the form of this part so you will get the dollars yeah so yeah these are escape sequences that you have to learn here um, it comes by practice and obviously reading the documentation of the rejects okay so next part what I am doing is um, we will we want to see the total dues okay total due this part so yeah again we will be copying this we'll be pasting it and we'll be changing this part okay so total due okay total due so total due and I want to see um, a dollar sorry um, total due in the form of dollar and again this part right so yeah most probably i'll be copying this part so from here we need total due so total due at this part yeah so most probably it is not giving you answers and any suggestions why yeah because see here total due right so we can see here that the total due or any value like subtotal is here see 85 it is in the next line so most probably we have to give see in total due also it is in the next line that value in the next line so we will be giving something called uh sequences for next line okay so let's see it's read or not yeah see it is able to read now okay so we have to look into your what the pi pdf 4 object has read for you from the invoice pdf invoice okay so after that by looking into this information you can extract the information as you require so okay let's see then uh, what i want to do is i want to extract um, say i want to extract dates okay so uh, to extract dates see if you if you see here the date we have date here invoice date okay we have due date here okay so let's say i want to uh, you know check invoice date so what you can do here is since dates here in this invoice are in the form of like January 25 so you can obviously use rejects here but for shortcut I'm going to show you a, a small technique because it is in the I think uh, let's count the lines okay um, okay this is in the 18th line okay this is in the 18th line so we will be picking up that 18th line and let's see what we get um, rest is equal to say I want to re dot split that information using the next line okay i want to get them as a list uh, the entire information here uh, as you see i printed out i want to uh, put them as a list and take the 18th occurrence so yeah so uh, spreading it from the uh, taking the next line okay and print rest 
okay so i think we'll get it in the uh, form of uh, a list so everything you see here is in uh, present in the form of list so just i want to take this as a uh, invoice date okay so invoice date is equal to sorry yeah invoice date is equal to uh, res 18 right uh, res 18 so here you can get the invoice date is equal to january 15 uh, january 25 216 2016 okay this thing okay so like this you can uh, obviously use this uh, awesome library called pypdf4 to extract information from your uh, pdfs from uh, like any pdf invoices resumes anything okay in the form of, uh, just you have to convert your resume in the form of pdf and then just processes process it here and using rejects you can inf extract information as you need so yeah that's all for this video uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also like and comment if you have any doubts and also let me know if you want me to make some other videos like uh, like any topic you can suggest so i will make uh, making a video on that so thank you Bye-bye.